The Kinder Hat, written by Morag Lowe and illustrated by Donna Rawlins. If I make you something at kinder today, will you use it? Jessie asked Mummy as they walked across the park to the kindergarten. Of course, said Mummy. What did you have in mind? How about a paper chain to wear around your neck? Or a paper placemat? Those would be lovely, said Mummy, and she kissed Jessie goodbye at the kinder gate. When activities time came round, Jessie got lots of coloured paper, some paste and a pair of scissors, and put them on the table. Then, in the odds and ends box, she saw a bright blue plastic ice cream container. At once she had a fantastic idea. She would use it to make Mummy a hat. She took the container back to the table and set to work. She cut out lots of coloured streamers and stuck them onto the container so that they all hung down the back and sides. Then she painted red spots on the front. Miss Davis, the kinder teacher, helped her to make a big red paper bow to glue on the top and the hat was finished. When Mummy came to collect her, Jessie rushed to show her the hat. It's a beautiful hat, Jessie, said Mummy. You can wear it home, said Jessie. You don't mean that I should wear it in the street, do you? asked Mummy. Yes, said Jessie. You said you'd use whatever I made and hats are made to be worn. Oh, we'd like to see it on, said Jessie's kinder friends. So Mummy tried the hat on. All the children thought it looked very handsome. Miss Davis said it was the first hat anyone had ever made at the kindergarten. Everyone said, wear it home, just for fun. Well, all right, said Mummy. Mummy and Jessie set off across the park. The streamers floated on the breeze behind Mummy's head and she had to hold on to the hat so it wouldn't fall off. Two old ladies stopped talking to look at Mummy and Jessie. Men weeding the flower beds turned round to stare. Children at the primary school hung over the fence and pointed. A boy riding his bike home to lunch was so busy looking at Mummy's hat that he banged into a pole and fell off. The postman had to help him up. When Jessie and Mummy got home, the dog next door barked so loudly that Mrs Tompkins, the neighbour, came out to see what was the matter. She was surprised to see Mummy in the hat. It's most unusual, Jessie, she said. I've never seen anything like it. At lunchtime, Mummy put the hat on the table so she and Jessie could see it while they were eating. Jessie felt very happy. When Daddy came home, Jessie, Jessie showed him the hat and told him how Mummy had worn it all the way back from the kinder. You didn't really wear it in the street, did you? Daddy asked Mummy. Mummy nodded. Yes, I did. Daddy was amazed. Would you like to try on the hat? Jessie asked Daddy. Well, perhaps just once, said Daddy. He stood in front of the mirror to see how he looked, but the hat didn't suit him like it did Mummy. The hat suits Mummy best because you made it especially for her, Daddy told Jessie. It's such a pretty hat. I think we should keep it here on the shelf as an ornament. But Mummy didn't keep the hat on the shelf all the time. She sometimes put it on when she was washing the dishes or peeling the vegetables or having a cup of coffee. It was such a pretty hat and hats are made to be worn. <laughs>